As we approach July 4th, of course, we're talking a lot about freedom, and it makes sense to expand that to financial freedom as well. So we brought in our resident money guy, Kyle Winkfield from Finley Alexander Wealth Management. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Happy to have you here. I'm doing well as well. Okay. So when it comes to our money, you know, we can all do better. <laughs> It seems like, you know, there's a lot that we cannot control. So interest rates, uh, bills, is financial freedom really a thing when we use that word freedom? Yeah, I, okay. So that's, a, I think people say, I'm going to be financially free and blah, blah, blah. Hey, it's how you're defining it. I like to focus on financial security. When mm -hmm. you're financially secure, that you have the option of going to work, but guess what? You can still maintain your lifestyle if you choose not to go to work. And maybe some people are considering that financial freedom. I think at the end of the day, the focus needs to be on cash flow. What is my lifestyle costing me? And how am I par where am I parking my money and planning for it so that I can have that option to be work optional or financially free or financially secure, however you're defining it. Uh, there's a way to get there. And my question is, why are you waiting until a certain age to get there? It's all about how you apply yourself today and what kind of planning you're doing today have that roadmap absolutely and you know when we're looking at that bigger picture to meet our financial goals what do we do when there are things that we can't really project so you know you hear about grocery and home improvement yeah. products doubling in price right now due to demand gas prices going up those are things that you can't really account for because you don't know what's going to happen you can't future cast Right. So, OK, so in, whenever, whenever you're financially planning and of course, it's about the future and nobody knows really what's going to happen because we don't have a crystal ball. I think really one of the things that people need to focus on, Elsa, is this. What can you control? Hmm. Right. There's a lot you can't. And I think this is a good example of, yeah, there's a lot of things outside of your control. But what is in your control? And there's a limited number of things that are and essentially like managing your cash flow, yes. managing your debt load eliminating consumer debt that doesn't need to be there, and then redirecting money and saving it. Listen, no matter what happens out there with gas prices or the cost of home improvement goods or whatever, if you've got a very strong savings habit and you can control what's going on with your cash flow and making sure that you're not in hock to creditors, mm -hmm. I think you're going to be able to figure out how to deal with those fluctuating things that are outside of your control. I think you are correct that in financial planning, the, there's three things you need to focus on. Control, control, control. And then my biggest question I ask everybody is, who's really in control when you think about where you're parking your money and what you're doing with it? And let's look at those things that we can bring back on our side of the desk to control and mitigate and eliminate. All right. So if we need help with all that, <laughs> yeah. which we probably do, what's the best way to reach out to Finley Alexander? Our website, finleyalexander.com. Don't go at it alone. Talk to somebody. If, you, if you're ready, you want to talk to us. We're here. We're ready to serve you um, and uh, let us know who you are. It is so helpful because all of this seems overwhelming at times. We're talking about things we can't control. You're right. Focus on the things that we can so that we can have a, a better picture ahead. Kyle Winkfield, we appreciate having you. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. <music> 